The pH is a measure of the acidity of a solution. And it is a value that is based on the molarity or the concentration of the hydronium ion H3O plus for the solution. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do really simple pH calculations. The equation that we use for calculating pH is the negative log of the H3O plus concentration. And before I do an example, I wanna talk a little bit about the use of square brackets in this equation. In chemistry, whenever we write a molecular formula inside square brackets, like we've done here, that's our notation or our abbreviation to represent the molarity of whatever substances inside the square brackets. So in this case, it's the molarity of H3O+. But we could literally put anything we wanted inside those square brackets. So say we had compound X inside the square brackets, that would just simply be used to represent the molarity of that compound X, whatever it is. So let's look at our example here. We're gonna calculate the pH of a solution that has this H3O plus concentration of 1.7 times 10 to the minus five molar. And to solve this problem, we're just going to plug into this pH equation, negative log of H3O plus. And we will substitute our H3O plus value into that equation, 1.7 times 10 to the minus five. We're gonna go ahead and drop the unit off of um, our concentration because pH is a unitless value. And then we need to get the calculator out to do this math. You do wanna make sure that you're using the correct uh, logarithmic function when you're solving these types of problems. There are typically a few different options for the log. So this is, I've entered in the 1.7 times 10 to the minus five, and now we're gonna go find, on, notice on my calculator, I actually have three different options for the log. We wanna make sure that we're using log base 10. Um, definitely don't use the natural log ln. And we can see that the result that I get for this is negative 4.76955. Don't forget that we have this negative sign out in front of our equation. So that's gonna make that negative symbol go away. I'm gonna go ahead and just, just to have, make sure that it's written out really carefully, I'm gonna put the negative sign in there initially, negative 4.77, and then I'll go ahead and get rid of those negative signs, 4.77. Now, once you've calculated the pH value of your solution, you can interpret that pH value and use it to describe the solution. So if your pH value comes out to be exactly seven, and it needs to be exactly seven, not like 6.9 or something, it has to be exactly seven. So maybe we'll say 7.0 just to be really specific. In that situation, we would re refer to the solution as being neutral, meaning that it is not acidic. If we have a pH value of anything less than seven, then we refer to the solution as being acidic, which is just a type of corrosivity. And if we have a pH value that is greater than seven, then we refer to the solution as being basic, which is also a type of corrosivity, um, just different from acidity.